hello happy new year happy wednesday welcome to the first wednesday of 2021 with me wilma because it's one sisko wilma and welcome i hope this year is well i hope you've done got your new year's manifestations intentions resolutions whatever you call them i hope you got them all written down and a plan to go along with them i hope y'all done built your vision boards and put everything that you want i know i've been working on a better space for me putting out content i put my vanity up together got me a little sparkly sparkle in the background and i am so excited and pumped to give you great content for this year so without further ado let's get into it so first things first i brought the milk makeup hydro grip primer i got the smaller version of it because again primers can be very hit or miss and especially if you don't know what you're priming or or what you need it for i should say what you need it for I didn't want to spend that much money on something if I didn't know if it was going to like. So when I saw the smaller version, I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to get. Um, I've seen this all over with a lot of different beauty um, influencers. So this is what it looks like. And so let's get into what are the promises of this primer. Grip it. A shot of blue agave holds makeup up all day for a super fresh finish. Dress a dose up of aloe water, cherry blossom hyaluronic acid and b vitamins to boost skin for a healthier looking base universal goodness is oil free silicone free green tinted formula goes on clear so work across all skin tones and types all right so it looks like it's going to be a lot of good things so again i got the mini guy just to try out and again if i like it i'll work my way up to the bigger portion of it that comes with next thing these guys are on sale so i got me three versions of the Georgina um, false lashes and this is what they look like. They were like a steal. They were like six bucks probably. So I got three. I wanted to mix and match but the other styles that they had by the time I had put them in my cart, they got snatched up. Um, I'm always on the prowl for a better eyeliner. So I got the Huda Beauty um, dual eyeliner, life liner here dual end so one's a felt tip and the one's more for like your inner eye work um and usually the inner eye work doesn't really work for me they smudge it runs so let's see if you know this guy works i got myself another beauty blender solely because of the color it's pretty i wanted it i got it so those who've worked with beauty blender and sponges you already know what beauty blender can do it's a really great product a lot of the sponges are molded after the girl. So, she's the queen bee out here in these streets. And Fenty's Mix Match Stick Trio. And I got in the Tan 300. So, it's closer from my skin tone. It's a caramel truffle, truffle and rum. And these are the magnetics. You can use them apart. And then they do this little nice snappy thing. So, I'm really, um, really, really wanting to try on those things and then these were my freebies so let's start with the womp womp i got a wide awake brightening eye cream this guy a smooch and then there was a Versace bright crystal roller which is going to probably be using one but this was a nice little size of a of a bonus it's the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser so this you can get a few washes out of it for sure and definitely test out if something like this is worth it to go purchase and and do that i love when companies do that actually give you a like worthwhile size um because when they give you this itty bitty what, what am i gonna do with this how i'm gonna see if this brightens my my eye in one use like come on it like stop playing with me but i love when companies do stuff like this and give you a bang for your buck so to say next up i got the gloss bomb cream in mauve wives i love the cheek and tongue names that they put on their products like i love it i love it i love it and i got the cookie jar um uh, out of these two I could have gotten more, but I needed to, like, contain myself and put my vanity together. Like, I got too much stuff. I got too much stuff, and I need to, like, purge some things before getting some things and really looking at it. And in doing that, I realized I am very Fenty brand loyal, 
and that's saying a lot for me because like i'll dibble and dabble like this i like here this i like that but i am noticing that i am very big on like this brand's loyalty i'm getting a lot of things from them and building my my kit with a lot of their things because their things work they're versatile and not that i had any doubt that they weren't gonna work but it's very rare that a brand especially with playing with makeup and doing makeup and it this being my hobby and passion um it's very rare that a brand really has caught me enough to like constantly be a you know repeat purchaser of their thing so that's really really cool that i'm noticing like a lot of my stuff is very like fancy-esque and i'm like oh okay i see what i'm doing here Finally, we're going to get into the Mademoiselle colors. And these were the ones that were on sale. They were like nine bucks a piece, um, which is half off because they're like about 18 original price. I got the Pumpkin Rose, PMS, and the Griselda. So these two are very darker colors. This one was more like an orange color. So I will test them out once I put on the rest of my face and we'll see what they look like. So I have been pumping off camera to see if I can get this to work. Shaking, nothing. I've literally been like trying to pump this product a lot to get anything out of it. And it's not working. So this is definitely going back to the store because I don't care how great your product is. If I can't get it out the tube, womp, womp, womp. So there's that in regards to my Sephora view with the milk makeup. And then I'm going to go back with my trusty dusty can't stop won't stop primer and that sucks because i was really looking forward to using that product but when you don't work you don't work as far as like just getting out the tube so i have said prior on different videos that i have oily skin and i really like this prime first of all it's like inexpensive it's about like in regards to like higher end um primers it's about i think like 18 dollars and i like to just like do just like this with the palms warm it up and like pat it into the skin especially where it's going to be oily so definitely in that t-zone area on the chin and then i pat it around this way so now that it's on i'm going to go in with the fenty beauty matchstick blend 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 and we'll see what what something i actually purchased from sephora will look like in the fact that it works as soon as you take it out the tube. This is what they look like. This is rum, truffle, and caramel. And I'm going a little out of order as far as like how to do my makeup because I want to play around specifically with the items that I purchased. Anything else that I'll touch up with things I already had, but I want to focus on the fact that I got these things for the video for Sephora. So Normally, y'all know I do my eyes and, and go in, blah, blah, blah. But I definitely want to get into the things that I purchased and showcase those things. So I'm going to take caramel. And just go right up under the eye. Bridge of the nose. Just anywhere you would normally do your foundation. And as you can see, my skin is not being a nice participant in my life right now it has been breaking out from the new year so i gotta do better i definitely am going to try to drink more water i mean i'm not going to change my skin routine i think it's definitely dietary i was out here wilding on my 97 day break from work Next, I'm going in with truffle right up under the dramification line and on the crown of my head and then very lightly on the nose. And then I'm going to blend this bed way out. I went and wet my beauty blender and so it is ready to use and as always my technique it is dab all over the skin 
you don't want to move product around you want it to look seemingly all over and blend now I'm gonna go over this again when I put on foundation but I want it to look as natural as possible before putting on any foundation. There you go. It's all blended in. I'm going to use a Fenty Beauty um, foundation sample that I have and then I'll go over. So from my previous videos, you know that I got this early, well not early, I want to say, anytime I say early, I'm talking about pandemic wise. Um, and this guy is 300. Um, it's the sample that I got. So I'm putting this on to blend all over. And I'm going to blend it off camera. This is what it looks like all blended in. I'm going to bake and put on my eyes off camera. I'm going to be using the Moroccan Spice Palette that I have also from Fenty Beauty. But I don't want to take up time from the video to get into the other things that I have. So I'm going to apply those things off camera and then get back. All right, real quick, don't judge me. I got a towel on so that, like, fallout don't fall on my black dress. But that's not the point. The point is, eventually, I do need to get a beauty bib because that would help out. But that's me trying to buy things. I wanted to share real quickly why I really, really love this palette. And I shared it on my Instagram. Um, this palette reminds me of my boyfriend, um, especially, like, the early, earlier days. Um when we were getting to like know each other and wanted to like celebrate our early on anniversary this palette was going to drop and he had to work i was up by where he was because when we first started dating he lived in like central jersey i lived in south jersey so we would like alternate when we would go see each other whatever whatever so this particular weekend i was up there and he lives up of really well used to live by a really really big mall so he's like hey listen like you know as soon as i get out of work i'm gonna come pick you up um my joke big chill in his room like if it was mine that's not the point so he picks me up we go i'm like what are we doing because again didn't tell me what we were doing where we were going blah, blah blah and so i've been talking about this palette i really really wanted it i was gonna get it on my own whatever whatever and he takes me to the mall and i'm just like okay what are we doing here like where are we going it's a pretty big mall let's look at a directory because I really didn't come here for this <laughs> like what's going on thank god i was thinking of that in my head and wasn't saying it out loud because i would have blocked my blessings anywho so he was like oh, like annoyed that he had to like share the surprise he was like we're going to sephora and i was like okay and so he was like um go get the palette that you want so i'm looking for a fancy beauty finder don't say it and i was like i don't think it dropped so i asked um one of the beauty advisors there and they was like yeah no it doesn't drop yet da, 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 da. so my boyfriend being who he is, is like, well, go get what you want. And I was just like, what? Like, what do you, what do you mean, go get what you want? He's like, well, you know, get something else. And I was just like, baby, what's the budget? Because you don't just tell a makeup girl in Sephora also anywhere, um, go get what you want. Like, we, we need to put boundaries in place. And he's just looking at me super perplexed. And I like, I remember I picked up this one random palette. I'm like, this is $65. Like, this one thing, this one whole thing is $65. So what is the budget? He was like, I guess get three things. And so I eventually ended up getting like three other Fenty Beauty products and one about it, the whatever. Was really happy, sweet, you know, again, I didn't know I was going to get these things. So I was really excited. Um, and so the following week when he came down to see me, 
he actually came and surprised me got this palette so this palette is really really dear to my heart um because it showed me one he was observant so he was very much willing to like get out his comfort zone men aren't comfortable being in a beauty store they're like what is this they don't get it very much so unless of course they're men who do makeup right um typical average cis heterosexual men don't do this so the fact that he took that time to be sweet and endearing and do something for me that really really i enjoy has always been like a big chunk of my heart for who he is and thankful that he supports me in the way that he does when it comes to my passion and my hobby so i just wanted to add that real quick so thank you and every time i use it i think of you so while I'm setting and baking, this is the Huda Beauty eyeliner. This one's for the inner corner work. Or if you want to do the eyeliner with that. And then this is the felt tip. So I, this is what that looks like. We are going to use the felt tip line and apply our eyeliner. And I'm just going to go out. Draw that triangle and connect. So, so far it runs really smooth. Um, sometimes it can be a little stiff and also because it's not like the typical eyeliner pen in that aspect. That's probably why it doesn't like dry out so quickly. And then we're just going to keep connecting getting as close to the eyelash as possible. It does seem to dry quickly though. And I'm just fixing up the eyeliner and getting it as even of a look as I possibly can. And there you have it. So now that the eyeliner is set in both eyes, um, like I said, it seems to be a very quick drying liner. So if you're just starting off, this might not be the product for you if you're trying to get everything right um, because it is quick and drying and if you make a mistake, it's gonna be really, really hard to get it out because it's very, very finely black. And so, yeah, it says extremely black um, in the sense of like, if you don't really, if you're just starting out again, you might wanna try another felt tip pen, probably like a NYX one or, um, Maybelline has one that's really really good so that you can like practice this one right here like you have to be quick with it because it is a very drying formula excuse me so now that I got that out the way I'm going to reapply truffle for my contour and just kind of like go already where it was blended and do it lightly on the nose. Taking my beauty blender and blend that out. And depending on how you want it, you can be more heavy handed with it. Like I said, I wanted to just have a little bit of bronze it is all up to your liking. Maybe you want to use the sky to fix up that nose contour. I'm now going to use a nice powder brush and buff the rest of that powder from above and below the contour and on my forehead. See, 
I need a beauty blend. <laughs> blend. Bib. And we're gonna move on. <laughs> Now that I have my lashes and the liner, gotta clean that up. I want to play around with moth wise. So this is the gloss bomb cream. So it comes in like gloss bomb. Oh, that was my mascara. Sorry guys. Come in the same tube, but Obviously, it's a cream color. Guys, I'm liking this color payout. Okay. Okay. Mauve wives, yes. I really, really like this color. So I already took mauve wives off, but I forgot to put my little bit of highlight. And this is in the color rum. Just work that in. Love the cheek. Bridging the most cute as well. Next, honey, we're going to be trying out Cookie Jar. I'm not going to lie. I was really, really excited the most for this color. Mm. Yes. Give me the color. All of it. Yes, honey. So let's get in the fact that this is super moisturizing and I just wiped off the first color Moth Wives and it did not give me that damn my, my, my lips is raw feeling that other, other lipsticks can do. Excuse me as I blend out that highlight. But this right here. This is a really pretty color. This this is a really... <laughs> I will be in the cookie jar. Yes. <laughs> All 2021. <laughs> What's that? Cookie jar? Cookies? The jar? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I really like that. It's like nice, subtle, with still a pop of color. You know, it gives you that little impact when you want to be a little more demure, but you also want to be like present. <laughs> I'm here. Stacky. Hello. Yes, love it. Mm hmm This is it. This this is it. This is the one and the two. Yeah. You know the look. Yes. She is giving giving me things, okay? Excuse me. So now that I've played around with the creams, I'm going to swatch really quickly the other Mademoiselle colors. And I'm going to start with Griselda because she's a badass. That's a badass name. And if it's named the Griselda Blanco, like, she's talking, she's talking on the strings of, like, the narco queen that I think I would have been in, in a previous life. Like, so this is the color. <clears throat> Vampy vibes, yes. I'm talking about real vampires, not that sparkly twilight shit. 
Yes. Oh, this is, this is nice. Yeah, this is definitely do a drug deal. Have them sleeping in the fishes, with the fishes. Hell, in the fishes, I don't know. Pasame la feria type of color. Okay. Yes. 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 So I definitely should have started off with the lighter color because it definitely has stained my lips. But a little pump of foundation. And I'm just going to go with the second darkest color, which is PMS. And reset. And go on. So I'm going in with PMS. Another super dark color. This is very vampy too. I wonder if it's like vampy brown versus like vampy wine. Oh, yeah. Vampy brown. Yes. The final color is Pumpkin Rose, it's just, and the color does inflect what its name is, a pumpkin. Nice orangey color, real pretty. Okay. Now, Gonna be super honest, this is the color I have to get used to. It's not my norm. However, I do like the rich color that it is. I'm, I'm just taking the time to adjust it on myself. But definitely a winner with those other two very dark colors. Super pretty. So there you have it. This is everything that I purchased from Sephora. And thus far, I will definitely love to purchase more of those um, Fenty Gloss Bomb. Fenty, <laughs> Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams. Get it together. Um, the color texture and payoff are gorgeous. Cookie jar is my favorite, but Mauve Wives doesn't, you know, isn't far behind. Super pretty. And if Sephora still has the Mademoiselle colors as well on sale, pick you up some because those colors are gorgeous. Even the pumpkin one that like it took me a while to get used to, it's still a beautiful color. So and for nine dollars, like such high quality of a lipstick get you one but that is the look with everything that i got from sephora i'm really disappointed in the milk makeup um and not necessarily in the what it is as far as like a product it just simply did not ever come out of the bottle like i was squeezing off camera for mad long and nothing nothing was coming out of the bottle even now i don't know how long it is that i started this video and nothing's coming out like I know some sometimes with a pump you have to pump a little bit but that's that's absurd that's quite a lot so this will be my return but for everything else definitely loving the trio sticks super creamy and easy to work with and blendable able to just wear 
a little bit of foundation with th those um trio sticks and the the gloss bomb cream stole the show like definitely as i'm getting rid of certain lipsticks will definitely like to replenish them with those other colors that i may have not gotten well love bugs thank you for spending some of your wednesday con wilma and by all means, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, engage. If you have questions, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. What else do I got? Twitter. Slide in the girls DM because I do answer questions for those who know me who have had questions. I've literally, literally have told them, here, try this. Try it this way. Here's the link here. I'm definitely one of those girls that will let you know where I got it, how much you got it. And if I got it for a cheaper price because I got a coupon, I'm sharing that with you. That's who I am. So I look forward to giving you more beauty content this year. Take care and see you next Wednesday. Cuídate.